Hi, I'm a wreck. Sorry about that. But, uh, I am responding to Therianthrope Andrew H. I believe he was posting uh, on the, under the channel Theri Kinexus, or Theri Connections, or whatever. I, I, I think the, the uh, channel has a perfectly awful name, but uh, I know some of the people who participate, and I think the people who participate on the channel are decent people and fairly thoughtful people. And you know, I love the channel. Hate the name. I will link to the video I'm responding to down here in the crotch bar. The video is called The Crazy Stage. In it, he talks about the crazy stage of awakening. And he's coming at it from the perspe perspective of a wolf therianthrope. I'm coming at this from the perspective of an other kid. And I don't know other kid. I've been, quote, awake to my kidness since 01. So that's 10 years. And I still don't know what I would identify as, what I would call myself. Oh, I have so much crap to do, and here I am making a video. But your video is worth responding to. And, uh, yeah, I did have a channel called Woods of Odin. Um, I retired that channel and came to Libra Anarchy. Thanks for the shout out, by the way. Uh, because at the time I thought Woods of Jordan had turned over a new leaf, so it's time to quit making fun of him. And so the channel was, I popped up on that channel, Woods of Odin, because of <laughs> another channel that had gone down due to a false DMCA. And it, it was a channel that had a bunch of um, marks against it um, that were, you know, false flags and other false DMCA's. And I had other channels go down due to false DMCA's. And I have some other backup channel up called Weaver in Darkness or something. It's, yeah. So, and I haven't touched that channel in ages, but it's the kind of channel that I can go on and say, Hey, I've been false flagged, because that's what goes on here. Moving on to the topic, the crazy stage. I had a very long crazy stage. I had a crazy stage that lasted a few years. My problem, my, actually several problems, but <laughs> they were similar to yours. Um, I did do the research, but I did not do the critical thinking. My first problem is, and this is an understandable and widespread one, I wanted to just, I wanted a label for myself. I wanted to encapsulate my experience of other kin into a simple label. Elf, griffin, wolf, phoenix, unicorn, horse, whatever makes things simpler, right? Well, no, because what I feel isn't something that I can put a label to yet, and that's okay. I still wouldn't know what to call myself, and that's okay. I'm not worse off for it. However, I was trying to set down a label to myself so what happened was I went through a whole bunch of labels and in my attempt to find out what I am I researched a ton of stuff and boy it's not for lack of trying or lack of research but you know <laughs> I could just get you know I should have just quietly given up the need for a label said I don't know and at some point I may come to a label. The the best labels I can find now are like alien, monster, labels that imply something that I don't necessarily understand, right? Something that implies fundamentally not human, but not something that can have a hard and fast label set to it. Now, so one thing I did in my crazy stage was I ended up acquiring some labels on top of other labels on top of other labels and inventing 
past lives and so on and so forth and discarding some and not discarding others and <laughs> mixing some. You may have heard the term blindikin which describes people who say I'm an angelic elf pixie leprechaun wolf tiger house cat intelligent machine spaceship something whatever they, they try to like mix up all these things it's not even just saying somebody saying well I feel like I'm a half elf half human or something you know it, it's somebody saying I feel like I'm all these things crammed together due to all these past lives or something yeah and I, and I was one of those and it does get pretty crazy and yeah the best option is just to say look I don't know and that's okay I feel like I am other so all I'm going to do is just refer to myself as other another thing that I did wrong was in my research I read a whole bunch of stuff from a whole bunch of people but I did not take the time to disseminate this at least somewhat reasonable stuff from the not so reasonable stuff um, I also did not take the time to discriminate between who I hung around I did not take the time to say okay this person's a bit too self-absorbed that person seems like she has a screw loose so I ended up um, hanging around a lot of people um, that I don't want to say held me back because they weren't responsible for me however they didn't help any at all um, they just caused me more stress and drama and they caused me needless worry over things that don't exist astral battles and this thing called the corruption and people who in past lives didn't like each other and people who would give each other readings and supposedly crawl around in other people's minds. It's really crazy stuff. And as you can imagine, such people did not help me, but I did not take the time to simply bow out and take my leave of the conversations these people engaged in. Instead, I fully engaged with the rest of the crazies. Uh, I was no less crazy. Now, returning to the former, uh, I heard and read a lot of stories from a lot of people about a lot of past lives and a lot of really strange, fantastical stories about Earth's history. And I just didn't take the time to say wait a minute I understand these are your beliefs and that's fine but not accepting it isn't disrespectful to you I respect your prerogative to have these beliefs but I don't necessarily have to respect the beliefs and I don't have to participate in them and just because there is a consensus of you know uh, an entire internet forum <laughs> oh dear, a whole forum on the internet <laughs> or an entire clique of friends that likes to hang out online or an entire chat room does not believe mean that what they're saying is true if somebody says that in the astral plane there is an area that we all go to you don't have and do whatever you don't have to believe that it's true you can believe that it's true if you want that's fine um i would suggest if you're doing similar things that you go inward and make something like an inner temple rather than trying to find you know 
spaceships and alternate planes that people claim to have created and all these things. <clears throat> or, you know, I, I've, I've seen people claim to meet up in celestial cities, heavenly realms, uh, council type situations. Again, it's fine if that's what you want to believe, but I, I think that going inward will benefit you far more than seeking outward. And frankly, I was really gullible and I, and I wanted so much to confirm my own beliefs that I believed in other crap that supposedly would sustain whatever beliefs I hold. And it, YouTube is going to cut me off soon. So, yeah, self-doubt is a good thing. Not knowing is okay. You're not worse off. Critical thinking is a good thing. And it's not disrespectful to individuals to simply not participate in things you think are too crazy or to simply not believe in what they believe or even to disrespect particular beliefs. That doesn't necessarily mean you disrespect the individual with those beliefs or the people's right to have those beliefs. So just, if you're newly awakening, take your time. Take your time in thinking about what you believe and self-honesty is good and it's really okay not to know and saying, I don't know, doesn't reflect badly upon you. If you don't know, you don't know. There's lots of shit I don't know. And I've been awake for 10 years, okay? So there you go. There, there's my input about my, my particular crazy stage and what I did wrong and what you may or may not want to do differently than how I did. <laughs> than how I did. Than what I did. There you go. So the point of all this, hey, know thyself.